Hello Taurus, this is you versus them for the 22nd through the 28th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oh, okay. We, we've got cards slipping up for you guys. I'm not done, but let's see what they are. If you guys are new, welcome. Um, I think a lot of you are not listening to your intuition is, is what I'm getting here. Um, not listening to your heart. Blocking, blocking it out is what I'm getting from you guys here, okay? So pay close attention to that. What you're feeling is real. What you're feeling is real. So, you know, don't let your ego just completely, you know, overtake what you're feeling inside. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and pull one card and see what what Taurus has been dealing with here. Taurus. And the Seven of Wands comes out again after I shuffle these cards, being very defensive, blocking things out here. Could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with. Does not have to be. You could have Leo in your chart even, okay? But um, blocking something out. You know, standing standing by what you believe in. But I'm thinking with with the Seven of Wands coming out with the High Priestess, um, I'm, I'm thinking that you guys are you're blocking what you're feeling inside. It's like you're not really trying to see things or or feel the things that you're feeling. But what you're feeling is real. So keep that in mind because some of you need to hear that message, okay? Let's see what's been going on with the other person here. What's been going on with them? What's been going on with them? Seven of Swords. Hmm. Um, I feel like somebody has... Either they're coming back towards your way or they are, they walked away. They walked away, but when they did it, they had no regard for how you felt or either they feel like you guys did this to them. You know, it could go either way, but definitely um, some deceitful actions I feel like took place in the past, whether it was on your part or their part. And then as I look at the top of this deck I see the star there feeling like these um, this is like destiny happening between the two of you guys okay <clears throat> what's keeping Taurus from this individual what's keeping Taurus from this individual the Empress hmm I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to start over. You're wanting to start new. Um, there's growth that you would like to see happen in your life. And I'm thinking that you guys are probably feeling that, you know, there is no potential for growth in this situation. So, of course, you don't want to be there where there's no growth. What's keeping this person from Taurus? Hmm. The Queen of Cups. Um, either this is you guys, them feeling like you guys have turned your back, that you're no longer willing to, um, you don't love them anymore, you're not willing to, you know, devote any more of your energy to this situation, or is, is this person actually having a lack of, um, not emotionally stable, okay? I'm feeling that this person, you know, has a hard time expressing emotion because as they walk away, they're not using emotions. They're strategizing here in the Seven of Swords energy, um, doing things very strategically. Um, this is like an opportunistic kind of energy where if, if a situation is not serving them, not, not benefiting them, then, you know, they're out. And they don't care what anybody thinks about it. And I'm getting that um, this person is just not emotionally available. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. And then the Two of Pentacles is there now on top of the deck. Um, being very unsure, unsteady about, you know, how to spend your time. How to spend your time wisely. And I see that in them. What's currently going on for Taurus? What's currently going on for Taurus? The King of Wands. Hmm. 
Now, this is you have strong Leo, and I feel Aries here. Um, either it's a Leo or an Aries that you guys are dealing with, I feel, or you have fire in your chart. But this is definitely somebody looking back on the past, um, somebody that's that's an initiator. And I'm feeling like you guys maybe have um, been like the initiator before in this relationship, you know, bridging the gap between you when things were missing, you know, you kind of, um, you filled in the spaces, you know. You, you brought the relationship forward. You pulled it out of the, out of, you know, negativity even. But now it's like, I'm, I'm getting that you guys are wanting to start over. Okay. But I feel there is definitely somebody um, that, that is interested in you guys. Definitely. Okay. So let's see where this actually goes. I do feel like you're standing in your power for sure definitely um but i'm getting that maybe you know maybe you're blocking yourself from your full potential okay what's currently going on for them the three of pentacles hmm. i feel there's definitely um somebody wanting to to work together with them this individual okay or they're wanting to work to because this this three of pentacles this person is facing towards the past down here and i'm getting that maybe there's somebody that wants to maybe they want to compromise at this point they want to work with you and in, in expressing that they want to work with you they may come with some sort of gift um some flowers jewelry something you know as a token of you know good faith that you know i want to work on this that sort of energy here um an apology even for some of you guys if you feel like this person owes you an apology but i definitely get that there is an air of um you know wanting to work things out here is what's currently going on after this person has left left the building okay what's influencing Taurus right now what's influencing Taurus the eight of wands you guys are just wanting to spearhead some change in your life um, and I'm getting that you know you're communicating with people on you're being very active and I love it I love it um, because you're not you're not being still you're not being stagnant um, you're actually standing in your power and you are moving forward you're not stuck okay I do feel like you're blocking out you know any negative energy for sure because you're not allowing um, anybody with this seven of swords energy to like infiltrate your barrier that you have up it's like you know this is a no bullshit zone right here and that's just where you are okay but look here as i pick this deck up the eight of pentacles there I'm, I'm definitely getting this person um wants to work with you guys okay so let's see <clears throat> what's influencing them look at this the lovers most definitely gemini energy here okay gemini um cancer capricorn energy we have currently uh and I feel Aquarius is here as well. Okay. The lovers is influencing them. There's a choice that this person is currently trying to make. Okay. Is currently trying to make. And I'm getting that also with the Seven of Swords and um, the High Priestess that came out, flipped out originally, that there were a lot of secrets that this person um, probably had and that there are a lot of things that you did not know about this person they are very mysterious they kept a lot of things to themselves now the high priest is also indicative of a mistress or somebody on the side okay 
So I don't think that um, with the Seven of Wands and the High Priestess that you guys may feel like you're not allowing anybody to, you know, pull anything over your eyes as far as them having a third party situation going on. You're not a part of that. You won't be a part of that. Okay. So there actually may be not only a choice to, you know, for them to keep moving on forward by themselves and you, but there may be a choice that they are trying to make between you and someone else as well. So, you know, I just have to put that out there with the lovers showing up as a choice, but it definitely has to do with love. And the high priestess energy, as far as intuition is concerned, may also go for this individual as well, that they need to follow their heart. Okay? They need to, they need to use their intuition, more of their um, emotions when it comes to making decisions. And not just think that, you know, every issue to do with love can be reasoned. Okay? So, let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Taurus? It's coming in for Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you guys have a business or, you know, your job, whatever you're doing right now, is something that, um, you know, has brought you, like, financial stability, um, financial abundance. There's something, there's something that you guys are building, and I feel like... Um, you're, you're building financially, but there's still something very present in your mind regarding issues of your past with this individual is what I'm getting here, okay? But definitely working and building a legacy here, and I see that with the Empress and the King of Wands. Definitely some, some sort of communication in a business. Maybe your business has to do with communications, but it's definitely going to bring you um, some great things, I feel, okay, financially. So that's that's great. But I also feel like with the Three of Pentacles here and then the Eight of Pentacles that I saw on top of the Vice Versa Tarot, there is definitely um, somebody wanting to work and build on a relationship to really establish a firm foundation here in this relationship. And I'm getting that this person also wants to have this relationship with you guys and build a legacy with you have this this grounded um relationship this stable committed relationship this humble beginning with you okay but i don't currently see you guys looking at this situation as it could become one that is very committed you know that's not going anywhere Let's see what's coming in for them. Hmm. The Two of Wands. I think that, you know, here we go with the Two of Wands. It's all about a choice too, a path to take. What do we do? What do we do? Okay. So I'm, I'm getting that this person's going to have to make a choice who they want to work with. If they want to work with you. If they want to build with you, if they want to have this Ten of Pentacles with you, there's a choice that they need to make. Which road do they want to follow? Okay? I don't know if you guys will allow them to even have the choice of having you back. But I, what I'm getting here is that this person is the one who the decision really falls on to try to make this happen. Okay? That's what I'm getting, guys. What is the advice for Taurus? What's the advice for Taurus? The advice for Taurus. The Tower. Hmm. The Tower is all about foundations that are not stable falling down breaking away okay so what what I instantly get from this is that there are some things that you guys are either thinking um, feeling doing that's not working for you 
And I do get that one of the things that is not working for you guys is the fact that you are not listening to your intuition. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Because I'm sure, you know, periodically that you'll get this inkling of something and then you kind of push it out your mind. Push it away. No, that's not true. You know, that sort of thing. So when you start doing that, be mindful of what you're trying to push out of your mind. Because that is your intuition speaking to you guys, okay? So be mindful of that. This is for you to wake up. This is for you to wake up here, okay? So be mindful of that. And I'll say it again. When you get that feeling that... Um, Start feeling like, oh my gosh, I love this person. And then you go, no, wait a minute. No, I don't. They did this. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that, okay? Let's see. What is the advice for them hmm, to decide what it is that they want? To decide what it is that they want. Two, two, and then we have a choice here with the lovers. This person needs to decide if this is something that they really want to work on here. So, I'm not sure who actually needs to, you know, make the first move in this situation. Uh, my Taurus friends, only you guys really know what happened, how you guys stopped talking to this individual even. Um... But there, there's a definite need for somebody to pay attention to their intuition. And then the other person needs to decide what the hell they want to do. Okay? Bottom line there. And then here is the high priestess again. Okay? Like I said, they need to decide what it is that they want to do as well. If it's another person that's in the picture, they need to decide who they want to be with. If they're not listening to their intuition, then they need to start. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the... What's the... Did I say the blockage? I don't even know. Anyway. Let's go with the blockage. The blockage... For Taurus. What's the blockage for Taurus? The Four of Wands. I'm getting that you guys may be... Um, wow. Maybe you're a little too comfortable in your... in yourself. Um, that... You're, you're blocking this out. Or maybe you guys are currently in a connection. Maybe this is you guys needing to, you know, part ways with somebody. Break up with somebody here. But this is all about your instability. What you feel like is going to make you happy. Because there's something shaky here. Or maybe you guys are not happy maybe it's something that you know you're trying to attain maybe it's the fact that you guys are not willing to look at this situation again some of you guys I feel are maybe in relationships already don't know and that may be what's blocking you from um, this other individual here. Let's see what's blocking them. What's blocking them? Hmm. The fact that they're not willing to work with you. They're not open to it. They're not open to it. And maybe they're giving to someone else here as well. Maybe they're sharing their time. They're spreading the love, you know. 
Hmm. What is the outcome for Taurus here? What is the outcome for Taurus? Hmm. Broken heart, disappointment. Wow. What is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? The Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in. Somebody coming in to offer some love, um, some loving communication is coming in. I don't know if this is you guys or someone else, but I'm feeling um, Scorpio energy here. That there's somebody coming in for them that... Um, that you guys may know about already here. Okay, let's see what this Four of Wands is about. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Oh, okay, let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. That's that's all about being um, single and stable here. Okay. Why is the Tower here? Maybe you guys are too secure and wanting to be single in, you know, within yourselves. Not allowing this person in, okay? Why is a tower here? The Queen of Wands. I'm strongly getting that you guys may be like Aries, Taurus, energy. Or this is a strong Aries, um, Leo individual you guys are dealing with. Um, but there's a lot of fire here. Scorpio energy here as well. But I'm getting that... Um, hmm. The Queen of Wands uses her intuition. She initiates things, okay? And what I'm getting is that you guys are not initiating anything with this individual. Is what I'm getting here. And if you look at the clarifiers, this is what's clarifying the Four of Wands, you guys. Okay. What's blocking you is the fact that you guys are single and you are proclaiming that you probably want to remain single. But you're looking right at the Queen of Wands here, um, clarifying the Tower. So, there's something that you guys need to deal with and let go of. Dealing with this fire energy, I feel. Um, and, and possibly communicate because the Eight of Wands is going right towards the Queen of Wands as well. So, I'm, I'm getting definitely there needs to be some communication here. Um, definitely. Needs to be some communication here. And I'm getting that you guys probably will get to that point. But I don't know if... I don't know if this person has blocked you guys out at this point. If you blocked them out and then they decided it was best for them to like go on. Not lend any more energy to the situation open themselves up to, you know, new possibilities. And then somebody else comes in for them with, with a love offer, an emotional offer. Maybe they have tried to work with you before and, you know, are at the point now where they're just deciding to go a different way, but they still have these deep feelings for you guys, for sure. You know, let's see why this... Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? Hmm. The strength. When the strength shows up, that means the devil is nearby. Um, facing issues. Facing... And I'm thinking this is, you guys, not really taking into account... You know, that both of you guys probably share in this disappointment, this broken heart, whatever separated you guys here. And um, 
I, I'm just thinking that you know there you guys need to talk about some issues here talk about some things that hurt you one more card for the three of swords let's see one more card oh yeah okay so there's a need for you to open up there's a need for you to open up. I feel like you are very, Taurus, you're very closed off and shut down right now, I feel. Um, you're blocking here, and you have the Four of Pentacles here, not opening up. And then you have the Four of Wands here. Very kind of complacent, very comfortable where you are, because you don't want to open up about what has hurt you. Address those issues with this individual. But that... Um, I think you know you will you will find some relief in opening up you know to this individual if you feel like this is the person for you use your intuition okay listen to it don't fight it all right guys so strong fire energy here Aries Leo energy um, I'm getting from this Virgo is here Scorpio's here Aquarius um, Capricorn Gemini, yeah, Cancer, maybe. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.